welcome back everybody we're just going on a little well blue's taking me for a walk it's the first time we've taken him to the beach and let him off the lead and he's had such fun with the clocks going back it's only half past three now and the sun's already setting so it's just getting used to the much shorter days that we're having but it's a lovely time of year and we just really are enjoying it especially blue taking me for a walk hey sh -sh -sh. calm down my sister is visiting at the moment so she's walking over there pushing Evie in the pram and it's midterm break so boys are having fun there at tennis Hello cooks
today's been the first good day weather-wise for us to get out because it has just been raining the whole time through the midterm break so we've kind of been stuck inside so today we made the most of the weather and we got out and Blue had a lovely walk and so did Evie and now we're home again and we are warming up because it's quite chilly out there isn't it it's quite chilly outside yes <laughs> but it's been quite a busy week so I haven't actually had time to do much filming so I apologize for that but so basically you get to see a day in the life of blue I'm going wild on the beach we've needed to get out a lot more with blue he is getting much bigger and you dropped your biscuit there you go there's your biscuit and he is getting bored oh thanks being um kind of just kept inside and the weather's been awful so i've been feeling so bad for him because it's been quite hard to get him out for walks and for exercise so we've managed to find a um, a horse arena that we'll be able to use just to get him off the lead for him to run because he just is in so much need of exercise just to run and get all that excess energy out otherwise he just ends up being naughty you're very busy um, and it's not his fault. I mean, he's just a puppy and he just wants to run and play. So, um, in, and he's so smart as well. So with him getting bored, he gets naughty and destructive and he gets himself into trouble and he's escaped and, um, managed to, well, someone actually phoned us to tell us that he, they have him because he got into someone else's yard and was playing with their children, <laughs> which he thought was wonderful. He made new friends. And so we've had to make some alterations to our fence and I'll show you that now. <coughs> yeah, let's go show them the fence. So what we've had to do is, um, hi, is basically put down a bit of, I suppose a little bit of concrete just at the base and some rocks because Mr. Escape Artist over here is very good at digging so he's been getting under the fence and going through this bramble bush how he gets through it I don't know and he gets through to the neighbors on the other side of this so um, <laughs> he just wants to say hi and so yeah we're trying to keep him in so we've been needing to exercise him a lot more so he is just exhausted yeah just exhausted oh kisses for Evie kisses for Evie and yeah well I suppose it just is a learning process for all of us no you can't have a biscuit so let me just change sides here but we are getting there and he is settling and growing so quickly we just can't believe the size of him already he is going to be you see he's already <laughs> up to no good but he's such a clever dog are you a clever dog yes you are such a clever dog no, we really are enjoying him anyway so that's our story and hopes we have no more escapes. Hey Blue. No more escaping through the fence for now. <laughs> Evie's getting big now, so fast. Hey, crawling everywhere, standing on everything. Yeah. <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> <laughs> this is a real cutie at the moment and we've got teeth coming through so we're not sleeping are we nope no sleep happening so i hope everybody is well and that's it for this week very short very sweet and we'll see you again next week bye say bye Bye. <laughs>